this is Pop2, and this is Pop2 Teaches. I had several replies to my video featuring the character wizard in the action menu. So before I begin this lesson, I'd like to address one of the questions, because it was something I was wondering myself. Can you show us how to add your own characters to the character wizard? Because if you could, it would be real cool. Pop2 agrees. Well, I did it first. But then I wrapped my head around this idea. This led me to ask the question, why, why, why would it be cool to add my characters to the character wizard? The possible answers are as follows. One, 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 to keep all the characters in one location, you know, for organizational purposes. Two, to have my characters appear, presto bambo, in eight views. Three, to be able to make changes quickly to all my characters. Yay! Three, I already said three. Four, to have my characters quickly adopt to all the actions available in the action menu. Five, just because it would be cool, damn it. Now let's answer each of these. For organizational purposes, ASP version 8 has the library. That was the special feature added in version 7. So if you want to add characters, you can add them in the library or create your own file on your hard drive as I have. I got used to doing that in version 6 and didn't find it necessary to add characters to the library. So, two, 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 to have one of my characters appear in eight views. Wow! I must be dreaming. So let's imagine version 10 will address that one. Three, to make quick changes to my character. Yeah, that would be nice. But then I'm stuck with limited clothing. Not cool and not a good trade-off. Four, to have my characters use all the actions created in the action wizard. Well, that, my friends, can be done. Sort of. And in a bit, I'll show you how. Five, just to be cool, damn it. Well, if you put on our observation caps, as well as our thinking caps, we'll notice that all of the characters created in the character wizard have the same bone setup. And therein lies the real issue. You see, many of my characters are animals with four legs. Some have wings and fly. Others crawl and hop. Some of my characters have dozens of bones. All of that means that a few, if any, of my characters would work in the character wizard. And if you look at your characters, you'll probably see that the bone setup that you're using is different than that of version 8's character wizard. To put yours or my characters into that thing would be like, Oh, the horror! Like Star Trek, the transporter, where you, you start out as a human and you come out as jello. Oh, the horror! Or worse, you start out as a normal human and you come out as a politician. Oh, the horror! Ah! Okay, so enough of that question. Bottom line is, having the character wizard means that you are capable of doing things beyond what you may have first imagined. And I'm going to show you some of the things that you'll be able to do, beginning with the editing feature. The first thing you should do is get into a habit of creating templates. Once you create your character via the character wizard or from scratch, start with an empty slate, no scenes, just your character, and create all the actions. And once you've created all the actions for your character, set it up as a template then get a backup to that okay then anytime you create a scene you just import your character and presto bamo your actions are ready to go and of course at any time you come up with new actions to the, your characters you just add them to your templates see that's why i put everything on a hard drive on my own folder imagine having to update the library Speaking of the library, I'm having the most difficult time trying to get my library to work. I don't use it myself, but I wanted to create a tutorial to show you how to use it. And for whatever reason, I'm having some glitches. If you're having glitches, I'd like to hear from you. Because maybe we need to put in a massive complaint to the Smith Micro people. Let's begin this tutorial with editing the actions in the action menu. One, open up the program, drop in a character from the character wizard. 2. Click Window and select Actions to open up the Actions window. 3. Inside the Actions window, in the upper left corner, click New Action. A pop-up window appears, and here is where you name the action you will create. I'll type in Hop. 4. Begin making your actions move. Notice the timeline is highlighted. This is how you know when you are in the edit mode. Once you finish, making the actions, double click the top line where it says main line. Five, make sure you have the bone layer activated. 
and from the actions window place your mouse over the new action you've created and click the icon at the top called insert reference or right click over the action then click insert reference from there. 6. Test it out. To do so make sure you begin on frame 1 or greater. The action will not appear if your timeline is set to 0. Now don't worry about the height of the jump. Those movements you want to make on the switch layer so that all the other views follow the same path. If we had a second action but we want to make changes to the action, these are the steps that you need to make. 1. Double click the action so that the timeline is highlighted. 2. Step by step make your changes. 3. Double click the main line. 4. Enter the action but this time it will have the changes. It's a good idea to create a new action in order to preserve the original action that was edited. Okay, let's summarize today's lesson. 1. We answered why adding characters to the character wizard would be rather silly. 2. We talked about the library and the fact that my version 8 seems to be having issues. If you experience the same thing, let me know so we can complain. 3. We went through the step of using the actions window, including making edits to your actions. So I hope I was able to help. Please send comments of any sort to the 33149 YouTube channel or send them to the 33149 at gmail.com.